Hi, my name is Lissy, and this is a little tutorial that I wanted to set up for you for uh, editing your brushes. And this tutorial is made for my Lunaro watercolor box, but you can use it for any brush set that you have, not just by me, but by anyone else. So let's get started. So when you purchase brushes from anyone, uh, they usually come with the settings that the creator likes for themselves. I sometimes forget to change the streamline, for example, I have really shaky hands and tremors. So for me, it's really hard to draw straight lines. So I usually keep the streamline up. For example, on this one, I already set the streamline lower, but um, it's usually around like this. So when you buy something from me, the streamline is a bit uh, skewed on it. So I would like to show you how to set your brushes or personalize your brushes that you get and uh, set different things on it so you can um, experiment as much as you want. First, I would like to show you the most basic things. So the first thing that you want to do every time is to copy the brush that you have. You do it with sliding it to the left side and go duplicate. And then I'm going to do it on this brush because this one has only one shape and one grain. So it does not really affect how the brush will turn out at the end. The thing that, things that you can change and should personalize if you want is in the Apple Pencil settings. As you can see, the size is to the max now, so when I draw something, the size will be bigger when I press down more with my pencil. If I change the size to zero, then all the time when I'm drawing, it's a monoline brush. So from now on, it's always the same. This is good if you want to use this brush, for example, for coloring in areas. So you can use it as a color pencil, for example. The other thing that is really nice to change is the opacity. If you change the opacity, now I changed back the size and the opacity is down to zero. In this, the uh, when, I, when I don't press as hard, the opacity normally is really low. So you can barely see what I'm drawing. But when I press harder, it becomes more opaque. When the opacity is down, then it's always pretty obvious what is happening. It's always going to make a mark. So with the size and the opacity to zero, you have a brush that can fill up big spaces really fast with the same texture. Speaking of this texture, you can also change this texture if you go to grain. And I'm going to block out a space here with how it is now. And if you don't like how the texture looks like because it's too little or too big for you, then you can change this texture to even bigger or even smaller. So you can have like a soft texture if you move it down, which I personally really like, or a really big one if you need some kind of super shader <laughs> or something. But in this case, I would, um, um, well, recommend to put the opacity and the size back so you can use it as a big, big shader. These are just some settings that you can change on your own. And oh my God, I changed everything now. Then um, what you can do with it is that uh, normally I will show you on a different brush but there's a reset bu brush button on it and then you can just reset the brush to, the, to its normal form. How you downloaded it from me. So I'm going to go back and delete this because I um, messed up what I did with it. I'm going to create this reset point because from now on I can just reset. Let's just screw it up. 
completely. Let's make it big, scatter, rotation, I don't know. Hmm. Opacity. Now it's all weird and completely not what it was. You can go and do reset brush, reset, and now it's back to the normal version. And speaking of this, if you have shaky hands like me, then you can put the streamline higher and then this way your lines will be nicer. This is really nice for line work. So if you have to do line work, then this is what will make the brush be smooth and not feel like it's shaking all the time. I think this is all for the brushes or this brush at least that I wanted to show you. There's something else I wanted to talk about, which is um, adding some colors, some different colors to your brushes. So I'm going to pick this one now and go to Color Dynamics. And in the Color Dynamics, you can go to the Color Pressure Hue and put it to around 5%. 8% uh, somewhere here and then when you draw on your canvas the more you press the different color colors will come out I did not do this by default because I thought that this is a uh, harder to turn off for people than just turn it on on their own so this is your guide <laughs> to turn it on and then you can do even more varied watercolors like this, like you would drip water in or different color in your watercolor. This is a really neat trick that you can do. And if you are worried that, oh my God, the brush is bad now, then you just reset the brush and then now it's back to its original form. But I'm going to delete this now because we don't need it anymore. And the other thing that I wanted to show you, I will quickly clear this, is that um, for the washes that I think look uh, really nice when you want to shade something, um, you can go to um, the grain and change the movement that will create different textures when you do your... Uh, washes so the lower the movement is the more streakier kind of it will look and it can look really different with different movements and um, yeah basically that's it for uh, these watercolor brushes for uh, changing and the last last but not least is the stamps the stamps are uh, now on uh, their maximum size. So that means that uh, if you are working on a smaller canvas, like this one is my uh, screen size, but it can be really annoying when your um, canvas is smaller and you can't just set the size to be the perfect size. You can go to here and set the maximum size to smaller and then with a smaller maximum size, it will not be as overwhelming on your canvas than it would be normally with the original setting. And this is basically what I just wanted to tell you and uh, help you a bit to understand how to work with your brushes, to customize them, to tailor them to your own taste. And as I said, it's not only working with my brushes specifically, but it works with any brush that you have and any brush that you purchased or downloaded. And uh, this way you can always personalize it a bit to your own taste and a bit to your own way of working without worrying that you will mess up. Thank you so much for watching and listening to me. I hope you are enjoying my Lunaro brushes. If you haven't gotten them yet, the link to it is in the description in the video. Thank you. Bye.